Hello guys, this is First1989, aka Roman Balbanov. Alright guys, so today's topic, as you can see here, is installing VirtualBox, which is our virtual machine. Why is it called VirtualBox, you ask? Well, because it is literally a box of um, our virtual machine. So you can see it's called Oracle VM VirtualBox. Installing VirtualBox is super easy. Literally, all you need to do is go to Google. Um, if you want to use Chromium, Firefox, whichever you want to use, I use Chromium. But um, essentially, we just search up virtual box. Boom. Downloads. All right. So if you are a Linux host, which I still let you are, and you click that one now, 16.04. That, uh, that is my version. So I'm going to use my version is called Xenial. Used to be called Willy, Trusty, Precise, etc., etc., Stretch, Cheesy, Jesse, Weezy, Harley Quinn, etc. So, what we're going to do is now you got two versions you got i386 and AMD64. So, we're going to read this note here. The package architecture has to match the Linux kernel architecture. That is, if you're running a 64 bit kernel, install the appropriate AM64 package. It does not matter if you have Intel or an AMD CPU. Mix installations, for example, Debian, Lenny, Ships, and AM64 kernel with 32-bit packages is not supported. To install VirtualBox anyways, you need to set up a 64-bit Chirrut environment, which we're not gonna get into that. Um, we're basically just gonna do the i. 386 version because I have a 64 bit computer, but I always suggest actually going to 32 bit. Um, that way, we can make sure that it's not going to crash because you want to be able to still use our um, host OS in the background while we're running VirtualBox. So, um, that is why I'm saying that we, we are going to use that. So, you just click on that, that's going to install the repositories for. Um, for that version so once that's done you can just click on that it's going to open now it's going to say virtualbox 5.1 oracle vm virtualbox and essentially it is a pc virtualization solution allowing you to run a wide range of pc operating systems on your linux system it includes windows linux free bsd dos dos open bsd and others it comes with a broad feature set and excellent performance, making the premier virtualization software solution on the market, which is true. It's awesome. So this software comes to a third party and may contain non-free components. Don't worry about that. Hit install. And we're going to let that go. It's only going to take a second. Next. This is the PGP public key block. You do not need this. There's no need for this, for this. We're essentially going to use um, that installation we just did, because we're not actually gonna do this from terminal, which we normally do everything from terminal. But for this, we're actually going to do it through Ubuntu software since it's a program that we can actually install off of there. It just makes things a little bit easier. Now, I already have it installed, so it's already done. But if you bring up this here, and you just type in VirtualBox, there it is. VirtualBox is already installed. It's that easy. We're going to go ahead and we're going to set up VirtualBox. Let's actually check to see how much time we have left. I'm trying to keep these at 10 minutes. It's Okay, we got five minutes left. We should be able to do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open VirtualBox. Now, I already had two systems in here. I'm actually gonna delete this one. Delete everything. All right, this is mine that I use. So I'm actually gonna rename this so I don't forget. Can I rename this? Oh, whoops, I don't wanna launch it. Oops. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna make a new one. So we're gonna hit new. We're gonna call this Tails V two like I did before. 
We're going to set this as other. And this can stay as um, DOS, or you can change it to other and unknown 64-bit. Uh, that's fine, because um, Tails is not your standard OS. So you can just set that as whatever. Recommended memory size is 64 megabytes. Honestly, I set it for about um, 1,024, because I have a faster computer, so I can put one gigabyte of RAM on this uh, on this virtual machine. So we're actually gonna not add a virtual hard disk. We don't want a virtual hard disk because we are, do not want to save anything. That is the, the point of Tails. We're gonna hit continue. It's gonna take a second. All right, we have Tails in here. Now we're gonna open up the settings. And since we don't have an actual operating system, like for example, if we just launch this, it has nothing to launch. So we're gonna power off the machine and we're gonna actually download the .iso file that we need to run tails. So .iso tails. So the website is tails.boam.org slash install slash download. You will download Tails and ISO image. Now, if you are on Linux, you should already have transmission. It is your P2P downloading software. I apologize for me, uh, I'm hiccuping. Um, it comes installed on your operating system from the stack. So I can actually show you here. Transmission, BitTorrent, Bit Client, you can use your own, doesn't matter. I use this one because it's just there. So you just hit download torrent file. It's gonna start the download. You open it and then it'll ask you, can't add duplicate because I already have it installed here as you can see. So once that's done, it's a little over a gigabyte of storage. So once that's done, you can just quit out of that. And then you're gonna open up your virtual box again, settings. Now we're gonna actually go to our storage. Now notice how we have a controller for our IDE and it's blank. We don't have anything in here. So we're gonna select the empty one. Doesn't matter what this is. We're gonna use a live CD and we're gonna choose that iOS. I'm sorry, iOS, ISO. I'm hit okay. It's gonna save those settings to allow us to use uh, that .iso file. Now for this, I also used, a, I used, an, I used also a 32-bit version. So now we can launch our Tails software. I'm gonna launch the V2. We can disregard that. Now it's gonna load, um, it's going to, it does take a little bit to load. I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you, it does take a little bit to load. So we're just gonna wait for that. Okay, so now it is opening. Welcome to Tails. Awesome, so make sure these things are correct. English, English, United States, whatever you are. Now, notice I can see the little black cursor there. You're gonna click in and hit capture. That way it captures your mouse. We're gonna hit no, because we don't want more options. We are literally going to delete everything when we're done. If you hit yes, it's gonna ask you to set up a password, a username, information like that. We don't want that. We just wanna log in. Now it's gonna open up virtual box, virtual, our virtual machine into a full window. This is okay, this is okay to do because this is a virtual machine inside of our host OS. So the FBI can't really get to our host OS because it doesn't exist. Well, it does, but it's not at, to them, they're going to see this host OS. They're not going to see um, all that. Okay. 
Alright, so something didn't go right with that. Uh, when it booted, it booted weird. It doesn't really happen. But it shouldn't happen to you. But it did to me, unfortunately. And it does happen. Things don't always go the way we want them to. It's just it's just how sometimes things work. And that's fine. So I relaunched it. And it seems to be working okay now. It actually asked me, asked me if I wanted to boot, boot as live, which is what we want to do. It just auto boots as that. So that's fine. Um, and once it loads up here, you'll see this one doesn't take, this time it shouldn't take as long because it's not the first time it's booting. The first time it boots always takes the longest, no matter what you do. But I'm actually going to show you how things actually disappear after you are done. So, it's going to ask us again. We don't want to set that up. It's going to boot. It's going to load guest editions. Guest editions is what allows it to maximize, which is nice because it comes in this one. And now I've used um, Kali Linux in a virtual machine when I was doing a little bit of webs of um, um, router hacking, and it, I had to install guest editions by myself. Um, which is always fun. All right, so we are in our virtual machine. Both the host operating system and the virtualization software are able to monitor what you're doing in Tails. So honestly, don't really worry about that um, because everything you do will be deleted when you're done. So, all right, so as you saw, it said in the bottom uh, tour is ready. So if you click here, we can actually open our circuit, our onion circuits which will tell us what circuit we are using. And I'll show you the IP. So we got Canada, France, United States, um, United Kingdom, all these onion circuits. This is what our computer is running through right now. This is just inside Tails. This isn't even, isn't even our ITP. Okay, so now I'm going to end the video there. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, of course, post them down below. Again, my name is Roman, a.k.a. First 1989 We'll see you guys later. Peace.